Hello everyone. Welcome back to Agriculture Insight. Is the hustle and bustle of life stressing you out? If so, join us as we immerse ourselves in the endless apple orchards across America, where ripe apples are ready to be picked. Every year, American farmers harvest up to 4.7 million tons of apples. That's an astonishing number. Thanks to advanced machinery and technology, American farmers have elevated the apple harvesting process to a level that is both fast and efficient, yet ensures the quality of each apple we enjoy. In today's video, we'll explore how farms in leading states like Washington, Michigan, and New York implement technology from planting to harvesting. From modern machinery and automated harvesting robots to image recognition technology for sorting and packaging, every step in this process is optimized to enhance productivity. Let's follow the American farmers to the vast apple orchards to discover everything from how they harvest to how apple products are made in the factories. Let's get started. Growing and harvesting apples requires a blend of modern agricultural methods and the perseverance of farmers. It takes four to five years from planting for an apple tree to produce its first fruits. Then, annually as autumn begins around August to September, the ripe red apples appear, ready for harvest. Each mature apple tree can yield up to 700 apples per season. Previously, farmers used their hands or primitive tools to harvest and transport apples. However, with technological advancements, machinery and smart robots have been introduced to improve efficiency and reduce human labor. Next, we will visit various orchards to learn about the harvesting methods of American farmers. Firstly, the most traditional method is hand-picking apples. This traditional method requires pickers to use ladders to reach the apples on the tree. Hand-picking allows for careful selection of each fruit ensuring that only those that are evenly ripe and free from pests and diseases are harvested. This is the most labor-intensive and time-consuming method, but it is also the best way to minimize damage to the apples. For apples used in making juice or cider, where appearance is less critical, harvesting is done using shaking machines. Shaking machines are among the most common harvesting tools on apple farms. Initially, the machine is positioned near the apple tree that needs to be harvested. The arm of the machine is adjusted to fit snugly around the trunk, ensuring that the device can efficiently shake the tree. Once the arm is correctly positioned, the shaking system is activated. The shaking force is evenly distributed from low to high, ensuring that the apples fall gently without damage. The apples then fall directly to the ground around the tree. After the apples fall to the ground, apple sweeping machines are used to collect them. These machines feature a rotating arm close to the ground that sucks up the apples and a front barrier that pushes the apples into rows to prevent them from being run over. Farmers control the machine as it moves along the rows of apples. The apples on the ground are moved into the machine by the rotating part and then onto a conveyor system that leads them into a storage bin attached to the back of the machine. As the apples pass through this conveyor system, impurities such as dry leaves and weeds are also removed. Once the rear bin is full, the machine transfers the apples to another trailer, which will transport the apples to the storage facility. Apples harvested by this method are suitable for making apple cider. Additionally, shaking machines equipped with catching nets are also used. These operate similarly to standard shaking machines, but after the apples fall, they land on a net instead of directly onto the ground. The apples are then conveyed from the net to a conveyor belt that moves them into a storage container. This machine essentially combines the features of the two previously mentioned machines. However, it can cause damage to the apples and does not allow for selective harvesting of only ripe apples. Farmers may stand behind the machine to remove any damaged apples that are collected. This method helps to reduce the impact on the apples and somewhat streamlines the collection process. Next is the over-the-row apple harvester, a specialized machine made in Germany. This machine is suitable for apple varieties with smaller trees, less branching, and heights under 3 meters, planted in straight rows. It is equipped with a multi-tier rotating shaft system made of rubber. As the machine moves over the trees, the rotating rings vigorously shake them, 
causing ripe red apples to fall. The apples are then moved by a conveyor belt to a storage container. This method is very modern, however, it does not remove impurities such as leaves from the apples and can potentially damage the plants. In addition, this is a green apple harvesting machine that also works on the same principle as the previous machine. However, instead of circles, this machine uses arms to hit the tree directly and cause the apples to fall onto the conveyor belt. Next, we explore the conveyor belt harvesting system that works in conjunction with human labor. Farmers manually pick apples from the trees and place them on the conveyor belt, which gently transports the apples into a storage container. For apples that are higher up, farmers can sit on specially designed high seats on the machine, directly pick the apples, and place them on the conveyor. The conveyor then moves the apples to storage bins that follow the machine. This machine can hold up to 10 large bins. Farmers work continuously in vast orchards, earning about $10 per hour. This method preserves the shape of the apples and reduces transportation time. However, it still requires a significant amount of labor to harvest the apples. In recent years, some farms have begun experimenting with deploying robots for apple harvesting. These robotic arms are equipped with sensors and cameras that can identify the location and ripeness of the apples and pick them automatically. Once the apple's position is determined, the robotic arm moves precisely to it. The gripper gently grabs the apple and applies just enough force to detach it from the branch without damaging both the fruit and the tree. Afterward, the robotic arm gently places the apple into a storage container. This method requires a high investment, but offers superior accuracy and labor savings. However, further development time is needed for humans to optimize the robots for the best performance. Besides robots, drones are also being developed for apple harvesting. Apple picking drones represent a novel innovation in agricultural technology, capable of flying over rows of trees and using sensors to identify and harvest apples. Similar to robotic arms, these drones can analyze the location and ripeness of apples, simplifying the harvesting process. Once an apple is located, the drone approaches and uses an attached arm to pluck the fruit from the tree. Although still in the experimental and development stages, drones promise to be an effective method in the future, offering high automation potential and reducing the need for manual labor. This technology could greatly enhance efficiency and consistency in apple harvesting once fully developed and deployed. After the apples are harvested, they are moved to the apple sorting and packaging line. Here, we'll explore the complex and sophisticated process of sorting and packaging apples to be directly supplied to the market. Here are the detailed steps involved in the apple sorting and packaging process. Apples are harvested from the orchards and transported to the sorting and packaging facility using large trucks or containers. It is essential to ensure that the apples are transported gently to avoid bruising or damage. Upon arrival at the facility, the apples are placed into automatic washing machines where they are cleaned with water and sometimes mild cleaning solutions. The purpose is to remove dirt, residues and any remnants of pesticides. After washing, the apples are dried using industrial dryers to completely remove any water from the surface, preparing them for subsequent steps. The washed apples continue to roll on the conveyor belts. Apples are passed through an automatic sorting machine, where sensors and cameras measure the size and determine the color of each apple. This helps to categorize the apples into different types based on market standards. The apples are also thoroughly inspected for signs of disease, damage, or pest infestation. Those that do not meet the standards are removed or redirected to other products such as apple juice. After being carefully sorted by the system, qualified apples will be labeled so that consumers can know important information such as barcode, origin, and brand logo of the supplier. The packaging process is automated using packaging machines. Apples are placed into bags, boxes, or cardboard containers based on customer requirements and market standards. To prevent damage to the apples during transportation, padding materials such as foam or paper may be used in the packaging process. 
After being placed on paper trays, the apple trays will be packed into large containers to ensure aesthetics and not damage the apples during transportation. After packaging, apples can be stored in cold storage facilities to maintain their freshness before being transported to supermarkets, stores, or directly to consumers. Besides being eaten fresh, apples are also widely used for making apple cider. Apples are first transported along a conveyor belt and washed to remove any dirt and residues. Then they are taken to a peeling machine. Here, the peeling machines include a system of smooth operating blades that easily remove the apple skins. After peeling, the apples are either chopped or crushed in preparation for juicing. The crushed apples are then fed into a press to extract the juice. The apple pomace left after juicing is separated and can be used for other purposes, such as compost. The apple juice is filtered to remove impurities, ensuring that the juice becomes clear and clean before fermentation. The juice is then transferred to fermentation tanks, where yeast is added. The fermentation process is carefully temperature controlled to convert the sugars in the juice into alcohol and carbon dioxide. This process can take several weeks to months. The cider is bottled under sterile conditions to prevent contamination during this phase. The bottles may be sealed with corks or other types of caps. The production process is strictly controlled at each step to ensure that each bottle of apple cider is not only delicious, but also safe for consumer health. So now you have a comprehensive overview of how American farmers harvest millions of tons of apples each year. American farmers use a variety of harvesting methods, each effective in its own way. So, next time you enjoy a fresh glass of apple juice or a delicious slice of apple pie, remember all the hard work that went into bringing those apples to you. Thank you for joining me throughout this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting insights into the world of agriculture. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video.